So remember that when a wave travels, the particles themselves aren't what are transmitting the energy. We can see, for example, in this wave, that the wave is propagating from left to right, but each of the particles stays in the same basic position. In a longitudinal wave, the particles move back and forth instead of up and down, but they don't carry the energy of the wave with them. They simply pass it on to the next particle. So once again, this is a feature of all waves, not just sound. Waves are a way of transferring energy without transferring matter. So sound waves that reach your ears are not consisting of the same particles that left the speaker's mouth. Instead, they're consisting of the air particles that were already right next to your ear that have just been knocked around by the sound waves that came out of the person's mouth. Does this make sense? So their voice irritates air particles near their mouth and that sets up a wave which causes more particles to vibrate and eventually that wave of vibrating particles reaches your ear and vibrates the air there and that's the sound that you can hear. So the sound wave propagates through the air. That's the term that we give when a wave is traveling. It can sometimes be a little misleading to use the word traveling because there are no particles that are traveling, only energy. That's why instead of using the word travel, we use the word propagate. Explain how sound energy is transmitted through the air. Now, we've talked a lot about sound waves here, but can you remember how they actually work? Well, it's a mechanical wave, right? And that should make the answer fairly easy to see. If it's a mechanical wave, then the wave travels because of physical interactions between the particles, that is, particles bumping into each other. So sound is a longitudinal wave transmitted by the collision of air particles. Air particles collide together, and this makes the wave propagate. So the source of the sound causes air particles near it to start vibrating. There's the person talking and causing particles to vibrate with their mouth and their voice box. And as they vibrate, they collide with other air particles and that causes a sound wave to propagate. Eventually, of course, that sound wave will reach the air in front of your ear and that will cause your eardrum to vibrate and it will cause you to hear the sound. 